Now make stop start off. Uh, 1,527 miles on her now. Do a little night drive, about a week and a half. Actually, just, I think we're, yeah, I think we're a week and a half of ownership right now in the 2022 Range Rover Sport SVR that I have. Did the first oil change at about 200 miles ago, just to kind of get the, you know, factory oil out. My commute to work is mostly highway. So I am averaging about 16 miles to the gallon. Of course, I drive it in dynamic mode and sport mode every day, regardless. So, I'm not getting the best fuel economy, but it's not really why I drive the car. Um, the car's been solid so far. So, I kind of mentioned in like a previous video, but you know, now that I've had a little more time to put some more miles on it, it has been a solid, solid machine. Still sounds good. It's got a lot of crackles, um, downshifting, you know, you'll get an occasional crackle and everything, so it sounds really good. I uh, love the V8 engine with the supercharger. Air suspension solid. Just the overall driving experience is really nice. So can't complain so far it's a solid you know really nothing's rattling in here I got the 1700 watt uh, signature surround sound sounds amazing so love that no like wind noise all that kind of stuff so of course the SVR has got the active exhaust on here which gets automatically turned on when you go into dynamic mode. GPS signal acquired. Uh, great, like kind of point of view, like where you're sitting and everything. Feels seats are solid, super comfortable. Um, not super aggressive, but still at the same time, they kind of keep you in place. Um, well equipped, heat cold seats, so ionizer, heated steering wheel, all that kind of stuff. Soft door closed, blind spots. I got all the safety features and everything, which is kind of nice for just convenience use. Um, the only, I guess, thing that I have happened before is the screen froze one time. That's an easy fix. Kind of just turn the, turn the uh, car off and then lock it, let it reset for about 5-10 minutes for the screen to completely turn off and then you go back into the car and then it reboots. That's kind of the easy fix. Sometimes the, the screen or whatever, the software will just freeze depending on what you use. Maybe you turn it on too fast and then try to navigate with the navigation or your phone or the media and everything and that kind of triggers it to freeze sometimes or you prompt at the back of camera too fast, that kind of stuff. A little annoying, but at the same time, usually the easy fix is to just, if you have time, lock the car, walk away, make sure the key's not in proximity, and let it reset for just a good five to 10 minutes, and it'll reboot. I think pretty much 99% of the time that fixes everything, so that's about it. Um, I, nothing really to note besides that. From what I've noticed, and you know, I drive this thing every day to work, so put a good 30, uh, actually 40, 50 miles on it every single day. So I spent a decent amount of time in here. So 
sounds good. It is nice to sit up high in here. Love the interior. You know, it's mostly mostly leather, some soft touch materials, carbon fiber, and then leather. So the overall interior kind of like feng shui is nice. I love the steering wheel. It's a pretty aggressive steering wheel. Nice notches and everything, so can't complain there. Software is is what it is. Um, it's not the best. In fact, it's not super, super good. I really only use it for music, and then it's good for navigation. I haven't really plugged it in. It's, it's CarPlay set up, but you have to cord it in. So it's gotta be, it's corded CarPlay, which isn't the end of the world. I just haven't used it yet. I've got a cooler too. I've used that all the time actually for water, frozen yogurt, all that kind of stuff. So that's pretty nice. Keep it for a little bit, at least through the fall and the winter. I'm trying to think of some other stuff, but you know, nothing's really coming to mind. I'm in a, uh, a single car garage that is not the biggest, but Sport fits in it. It's not like a subcompact garage, but it is not like a extra wide garage. So you got to be good with the the cameras and the mirrors for sure. Um, that's well, obviously the this is the 360 cameras with the sensors and everything. So it is rather easy to park. Some small quirks, like when I'm in reverse and I press on the throttle, there is a little bit of a squeak sometimes. I don't know if that's like the parking brake rubbing or some kind of pad rubbing or something, but that's another thing that I have noticed. Not sure what that is. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, guys, I think that's honestly about it overall love the vehicle if you haven't if this is your first time watching it sorry it's so dark i just it's, didn't have enough time to do a video today so at work all day but had a couple jags f paces the svr the s uh, f type r and everything so i was kind of a jag fan and everything and then i kind of wanted to try something else so i went off brand for a little bit but the the range Rover sport has been a pleasant surprise never thought i would ever be driving one as a personal vehicle, but it's great. Love sitting up high. Uh, SUV drives great. Um, can't wait to see the new one if you haven't seen the new body style, but I still prefer this body style for myself just because I like the way the, the vehicle looks in terms of just the aggressiveness. You guys around here, weather there. It's got the carbon fiber interior package. Ooh, yep. Huge fan of carbon. Boom. Honestly, it's carbon everywhere. Inside, but let's just do a little quick rock around. We've got the soft door closed. Pretty much works all the time. Puddle lights with the approach lights with the Range Rover Sport. Oh, I got full full hood stealth expel and obviously clear expel over the lights. So we are now protected against debris and rock chips. There is a stealth expel on here, which you actually really can't even tell, which is nice. So good PPF coverage for the satin paint. Highly recommend it if you have a satin car, get Stealth Expel. I mean, I can't tell it's on here. It's just nice to know that the car has a PPF over it now. And PPF there. I got the, the little door edges in here too for scratches, like fingernails. 
Um, had them take off the edges. They usually do edge guards here, but it was a little more prominent, so I didn't like it. Or she said they didn't look good, so I took it off. But yeah, this is the garage. Fits in perfectly. Not too snug. Just washed it actually, so she is nice and clean. You know, actually not too big, especially in here. This is a smaller garage, but fits perfectly. If you guys have any other questions, don't forget to drop a comment down below. I recommend it. Love it. So we'll see how long I keep it. But this look, definitely going to miss it in terms of just future like Range Rover Sport production. If you guys have any questions, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.